<laughs> uh, I mean, he, they do it differently, Rich, to your point. They are two of the five best offensive players in the Big 12. Your officials, Doug Sermons, Antonio Petty, Michael Greenstein, and TCU trying to start off strong. Here comes Noel, facing a double team right as he gets to the half-court line. Johnson with that little set shot. And it's that one, two, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Inside, good hands by the freshman, Cam Carter. The leak out pass, and it's a touchdown to Marcus Noel. His first two of the night. That's what you can't give up. They're both very good in the open floor. TCU number one in the nation in fast break points, but they got beat at their own game this night. Miller, tough angle off the window for Emmanuel Miller. He has been so good for them. There's Michael Peavy seeing his first play. Some big to big passing, and Xavier Cork has the bucket. Hard slashing in. Tap back, and Miller grabs the rebound for TCU to take their first lead of the game with the bucket. Bounce pass, Miller got it. And the Frogs are on top. Just a smart cut. Inside. Cork tosses it up on the glass, comes up empty, and Desi Sills on the floor grabs the rebound. Noel, a willing passer, and he got the assist there to David Kassan. And that's the example. And he's also taken eight free throws a game. So he's getting points in other ways besides layups at the rim. Coles, baseline J, smooth touch from number 21, Jacoby Coles. Playing his best basketball of the season. A season high 17 in that game against West Virginia. 13 for his last 21 field goals as Jacoby Coles averaging a touch under 15 a game his last year. Open look, I don't know if he wanted to go off the glass, but it counts none the same. Noel calling for the screen from Naquan Tomlin. Couldn't find him on the roll. Here's Johnson, double team. Still not to down. And they are going to come over with strong in this conference. An open look. Peavy, short. Stolen away by Cork. And Coles, the big man, knocks down the triple. And it's a turn again. And Baugh is down at the other end of the floor. K-State playing five on four. Tomlin to Kassan. Second bump of the game for David Kassan. Nikki Green is, is in legal guarding position. Look at Noel. The Hezzy over the window. Marquise Noel has seven. Kansas State with a five-point lead over 17th ranked TCU. Noel off the mark. Another Miller rebound. They want to run, they do, and they cash in. Good decision. As reasonable an argument for Marquise Noel to be the Big 12's player of the year as you can, Jalen Wilson. And that's saying something. Wilson averaging close to 21 a game for the Kansas Jayhawks. And one opportunity as Desi Sills takes it strong on the left. Ten on the shot clock. Peavy's got it. I mean, that is not something you see very often. Micah Peavy making a three. He's only 5 of 29 on the season. We see baseline. Back out, Cam Carter for three. Got it! Saved by Lampkin. This is where TCU excels, and they do there as Micah Peavy finishes. Road wins tough to come by in this league. That's what TCU's trying to do here in Manhattan. Tomlin up and in. Seen some 
it against 17th ranked TCU. They can't add to that lead with the bunny. Missed from short range. Ball, the blow by, and the right hand. He called out another four point swing. And lost his teams are shooting 50% from the field. Their season most, 19. And they have 12 here in the first half. Nice back to the team. And the assist to Sims. Good hands by Carter. Peavy with five on the shot clock. Like a Peavy. Breakdown. How is this so wide open? Off the window again from close range. Emmanuel Miller with his third bucket of the first half. Jamie Dixon playing Miller with the two fouls. Noel. Oh, from downtown Manhattan. And Tomlin, two for two. So that extends K-State's lead to six with 3.3 to go. And TCU, one more shot before the teams head to the locker room. Here's Ball across half court. Good if it oh. goes. And it's off the window. It's no good. Kansas State will go to halftime with a six-point lead, and that's good news for Wildcat Nation. The Cats... Noel with the ball in his hands to start the second half. The lob. Nice set goal coming out of the halftime. For the Horn Frogs, the preseason Big 12 player of the year, missing his third consecutive game with a hyperextended knee. Five on the clock. Rising up and knocking it down is Chuck O'Bannon, his first two of the night. Get a post. It just, they haven't been able to throw it to him. Yeah. Working the operative word. Eddie Lampkin working on a sprained left ankle. Here's a pickoff and a pick six as Damian Ball takes it to the house. Here's Keontae Johnson, 11 and white with two fouls. No good, weak side rebound, Shahade Wells. Look at that bounce pass. Ball to Wells. Circus shot. Back-to-back -back buckets for the Frogs. And like you said, transition has really ignited TCU here in the early going. Another one to the basket. And let's not forget now, Kansas State coming off a game where they had a 14-point halftime lead on Texas and ended up losing that game. In front of an energized home crowd. Same can be said for tonight. Here's Paul again from close range. Noel left alone. Maybe too much time to think about that one. Offensive rebound back in the hands of the Cats. And Carter with the step forward. I stuck to the half of Carter. Miller off the mark, Johnson the rebound. Both teams coming in at seven and four, or six and four, in lead play. Tyke Green inserted into the game and gets Really good design again. Under 16 minutes to go. Top 20 matchup between two of the best in the Big 12. Sims in transition. K-State transition defense. Sills one more time. Great game with a hyper-extended knee, averaging 18 plus a game. Here's Jacoby Coles for three. In and out that time. Offensive rebound and the putback by Xavier Court. And Jerome Tate misses two free throws in a row. They got Big Max when they walked into the game, and now Oh, it's Whoppers. My apologies. Oh, and there's a three by Sims! Miller all alone. The two-hand jam. 
Noel swallowed up by the Horn Frogs team. Let him play. Cork to Miller. Got it. Soft touch. Emmanuel Miller with 10. He's very good on the interior. Emmanuel Miller first in the conference in field goal percentage. Most of them coming from close range like the last hey. one. There's a blow by by Noel. Backdoor cut. Nice touch by Jacoby Coles. Coming up on 11 minutes left. The winner improves to 7 and 4 and will be tied with the Kansas Jayhawks. Just below Texas and Iowa State. There's an answer from Kazan. An open side ball. And there's Green off the inbound. Under out of bounds. Walker again tries the three. This time he cans it. That's Miller hung and didn't hit. Good hustle by Sills in defensive transition. Back door. And there's a dive from Marquise Noel. And with that assist. Ball. Straight line drive off the window. Some dangerous ball handling by Noel. Five on the clock. He lost it. Here's Miller. Sprinting down the floor, the big man Coles with the bucket. Out. Timeout if you're Jerome Tank. And here's Johnson. They've got numbers. Gasson <laughs> to Green again. swung back in the favor of the homestanding Wildcats. And it's two bad shots. I mean, that last shot was not good. Here's Johnson. Largest of the night. Noel. But they're sneaky, man. You start looking at that Big 12 race and who people have left. From Marquise Noel. And he's doing this for fun, and that's good. That was kind of contested. <laughs> I mean, Damian Ball gets out here. 18 points, seven dimes. Sills. Caps off his impressive night. Final thoughts, Chris. This is a nice little, little bounce back here for K-State. Took better care of the ball than they did the first time around. And they're starting to get contributions from a lot of other guys. K-State ends this contest on a 